here, both these two gentlemen. Big shot, is it big enough? Is it big enough? Yes, it is. Just about making it over the ropes. Livingston has not got all of it. He was concerned as the ball left the bat. Have I got enough? Long on fielder was in business for a while. See the bat twisted in his hands. Lengthwise, it's in the slot, but it's wide and a bit of change of pace. His heart was in his mouth. Absolutely loved the grand flourish of the bat. Just went hard without thinking much. And that's how you bat in T20. You back yourself, you be fearless and hope for the best. 15 in the over so far. I'd be disappointed. He's looking at the toe of his blade. It was in the slot. Maybe could have tried the off zone rather than the long on range again. Yeah, been very strong bottom handed Livingston. So a good delivery. You don't want to be bowling length to him though, because with that strong bottom hand, if you get it slightly wrong, he will hurt you on that leg side. So 15 already off this over. You spoke about targeting the player, but this stage of the innings, I might need to back him up consecutive overs of targeting players, following up this big over with another one. He had covered the set of stumps. Shadwick Walton has saved the six, I think. And if that is the case, it is fantastic feeling. And I let John T. Rhodes decide whether it was a good stop or not. Chadwick Walton is a great athlete. We've seen him cover some incredible ground. Difficult. He's kept his eye on the ball the whole way. He knows he's close to the rope. He doesn't know. Oh, I tell you what, he's actually gone for six. Great effort, though. He knows he's close. He hasn't taken his eye off the ball. Great effort. But he has touched the ground before he's released it. So, looks spectacular. But the result is six. Uh, well, he, he tried his best. I don't know whether it's straightforward or not, John T. He's got long spikes on Rambo. He spikes hit the ground now. Yeah. <laughs> really was a courageous spectacular effort because he sized it perfectly he knew where he was in relation to the uh, boundary cushion he was flying in the air when that ball was was uh, hurled back or he, when he tried to hurl that ball back into play would you give a six I would give a six, but I tell you what, it was a fantastic effort because he doesn't know where the boundary rope. Yep, long spikes, I told you. The problem with being a good athlete is you want those spikes underfoot. So, tournament sixes for the HBL PSL. Season five is up to number 25. It was a great effort on the, on the boundary ropes. A really brave, like you said, a really brave effort there. Chasing second. At this venue, there we go, here we go, Jordas, oh no hang time there, it's gone all the way and lovely bit of striking here for Livingston. Well you called it right Danny, he did get his dancing shoes on and he's hit it a mile, just what Peshawar need at this point. Long hit, 75 metres, e easily clearing Jordan there at the boundary. That's Chris Jordan. Full and he gets four. Brilliant from Livingston and just what the Zelmi needed. Ten from that over. One five four for five here. Livingston on forty six now. Crowd chanting, getting in behind Amir. Slow one. Up, up and away. Absolutely stunning. What a way to bring it up. 
backed himself, went inside and helped the hook shot. His fourth PSL 50, and he's 14th in this fabulous format, Liam Livingston. He's living in the moment absolutely here for Peshawar. Caught under the ball very nicely. And uh, welcome boundary here for Peshawar.